Hey guys, it is Margaret and I am coming live to you with a sales update video. Uh, I know I'm a few bit minutes early, but I needed to get moving because there's stuff that has to happen today. So we're live now. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, my week's been pretty good. Uh, let me take a peek back at my last week's uh, profits and stuff. So last week I did pretty well. Let me share with you what all uh, went out last week so you can see the difference and uh, how everything went. So this was my week last week. I had had all of three cool sales, um, which was still okay, you know, and a few sales from viewers and on PayPal. Uh, and then of course my merch sales were awesome, which is really what set me over the edge of meeting my goals. So that was last week. I actually messaged some friends this morning and said, guess what I'm doing this morning? I'm packaging up my sales from the weekend. And I said, yes, that's plural. So I did have some sales, some pretty nice ones too. Um, and actually had another one that just paid today, but I'll include it into next week's because I try, I don't want to cheat, right? Like I don't want to like stuff the pot, you know, with the extra. So I'll save it for next week. But it was a really good one. It was like 70 bucks sale, which is always nice. So hello, my friends in the chat. Thanks for coming. Uh, Marcy and Joni. Hi, Lydia, Purple Lily in Nevada, and Debbie and Sam. Hello, Bobby Moons. How's it going? So yeah, I'm like, I, I don't, some of you guys were here last night, caught me and my sister just chatting. Uh, and then we are planning on doing a merch video together, but I haven't figured out the logistics of that yet because I want it to be informative, but I know how it is when we get together. So I'll, I'll probably... I need to do my April update just to share everything that went on through April, April, if I can speak, um, in merch and all of that and a couple other tutorials that I have in the works. So that ought to be really cool because I know a lot of people are getting um, approved or have been approved recently and then they're just like, ah, deer in the headlights, you know. So if, if you are watching this later and you're like, that's me. Um, leave me like a comment later and let me know like where you're stuck so it helps me like navigate where I should focus my attentions as far as tutorials, if that makes sense. So somebody else mentioned that to me, like, oh, I'm, you know, having a problem with such and such. But I said, yeah, go go find a YouTuber that you like that does good tutorials and let that person know. And usually the most most content creators are receptive to people saying, you know, I like your style. Can you help me with this? I'd like to see a video about this. Some of them don't care. Uh, some of them will ignore it, but whatever. I like to know because it helps me, yeah, if I can help you, whatever. Okay, anyway, I'm rambling, but hey, what's new? All right, um, let's see. Hey, CP Craft and Nini and Jenny. Hello, hello. Okay, so let's jump into the sales. Let me share with you. I'm going to go ahead and screen share uh, my window of things that have sold. So here we have, oops, I'm still on the wrong screen for myself. Here we go. All right, so this hat sold. It was a, a Lady Luck um, hat, and hang on, I'm, I'm slow today, y'all. Um, all right, so I picked this up for $2. It sold on sale for $14.02. I know there's a different price there, but it was on sale, and the sale is not on anymore. So. Anyway, um, after shipping and fees, my net was $10.80, so that's pretty good. And then I shared this one in the group. Cause I just picked this up, this rock concert. I know I said I paid um, 25 cents for it, but I think it was actually 50. Where did they go? Yeah, when I went and looked in my notes, it was 50 cents that I paid for it. It sold um, on sale for $12.37, but I was just like, okay, anything will sell. I just listed this like two weeks ago, maybe two, three weeks ago. Um, so yeah, so still, I mean, that's like a $10.17 10 profit on some rocks, y'all. <laughs> some painted rocks with little eyeballs. Everything will sell. All right, and then this guy I've had forever. Oh my gosh! Um, but he's a, he was tiny, tiny, um, and he is a vintage sterling silver cowboy pin. I uh, picked him up for a quarter, and he sold for twelve dollars. I took a best offer, twelve bucks on him, so my net was nine dollars and sixty cents. <laughs> I'm looking in the chat. Um, Heather says, you'd think I never work and only watch YouTube, but I'm working while I watch. <laughs> good, good. Uh, yeah, I was posting shirts earlier. I, you know, I still haven't finished my 30 for the day, so I've got to get on to that and finish that up later. 
Okay, so these sold too. I've had these for a long time, and these have gone to London, actually. So these vintage silver iridescent disc cufflinks. I actually had two sets of them. One sold a while back. Um, but I got them in a lot, so it was about 85 cents that I paid for them. And now I need to go because they the shipping was way too much, so I need to go refund some of the shipping. Um, so my net ended up being $27.05, but I need to go send them some, some refund for shipping. All righty, and then what else have we got? Oh, my gosh, this one sold too. So remember, I just got this, you know, if you watch that ride-along that I did with my sister um, when she and I went out, I got this for a buck. Let me see my inventory. Yeah, one dollar. So got this for a dollar, um, and this sold on Etsy. Oh, I didn't even tell you I switched over to Etsy. Ta da! Hey, C. Klein, fellow Texan. Hello, hello. Um, so yeah, I picked this up for a buck, and it sold for sixty-seven dollars and ninety-nine cents. Um, and so my net profit there was sixty-three dollars and twenty-three cents. So that's really good, I think. And then a uh, vintage children's book, this little golden book sold. And again, I, I used to buy a lot more of the kids' books and stuff, but they sit forever, you know, and I really like them, but I've learned I just don't have the room. And I still have a ton in, in my closet that are unlisted. Anyway, um, so this book I paid a quarter for, sold for $12.99. And so my net was $12.56. But I've had, this has been up for a good year. It's been up forever. And then this bracelet came out of a jewelry jar, if you remember. I don't know, because I've done a bazillion jewelry jars videos. So, yep, this one came out of a jewelry jar. And where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, my goodness. Here it is. Okay. So I said I, it was a dollar that I paid for it, but it may have been less than a dollar because most of the jars were about 25 30 bucks, depending on how many items in there, blah, blah, blah. Right? So about a buck. Anyway, this person messaged me and said, hey, because I had it listed for $17.99 and then shipping. And they were like, hey, would you do $18 in free shipping? You know, which is basically just give me free shipping. Because <laughs> $17.99, whatever. Um, so, yeah, they paid a penny shipping. Um, but, yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? That's cool because I got it from a jewelry jar and really, yeah, I don't mind. So, anyway, after everything, um, I still net $12.77 on this bracelet. So, pretty cool. I was happy to do it. Why not, right? Um, so, hey, Angie's in the chat. Hi, hi. Um, Nevada says, if you find more German children's books, tweet me, please, Margaret. I will. And, you know, when I sold that, oh, gosh, what was it called? I can't even think of the name of it with the, like, guys with the uh, fingernails. And it was all these, like, really twisted children's rhymes and stuff, you know? That was so cool. Anyway. Um, but, yeah, now I'm like, oh, why did I sell that? <laughs> you know? Oh, well, it's done now. Okay, so those were my sales on eBay and Etsy. So my total profit from eBay and Etsy was $146.18. So pretty close because my goal, you know, has been $250, like to make $250. But now that I'm doing merch, I'm not listing quite as much, which is okay because my merch sales um, make up for a lot. So that's really good. Hey, Maggie, how's it going? And Jolene, hello, hello. I'm sure I missed some more people in the chat. C. Klein says, so do you do this on a weekly basis just to show what things cost and what you sell them for? Yeah, generally. Um, and when I, did, when I wasn't doing merch so heavily, there was a lot more to show. But I still think it's good. I still think it's like, okay, these are the kinds of things I'm picking up. These are the kinds of things I'm selling and what they're selling for. Um, I don't know. I like to find out, so. It's fun. And then it also keeps me on track. Like, am I meeting my goals every week? Am I, uh, you know, yeah. Okay, so, hey, Jason, how's it going? Uh, what was I going to say? No, I forgot. Beat Nuke, hello, hello. Maybe if I say, talk to the chat, I'll remember. So, okay, let me just share my spreadsheet, and then I can share with you my sales for merch for the last week as well. So, here it comes. Hello, T. Marasco. I'm not sure if I'm saying your name right, but hello. Welcome. All right, so here up here you see the items and all the profits and fees and blah, blah, blah. Uh, who needs goals, Jeff says. Fly by the seat of your pants, I say. Yeah, sure. <laughs> um, okay, so I did sell a stretch bracelet from a um, one of the jewelry jars I just did, the last one, I think, um, for six bucks, which... It was cool, I mean, because it was maybe a couple bucks to ship, and I pulled it out of a jar, and it's all good. Everybody's happy, right? They're happy, I'm happy. 
it's cool. Um, and so <laughs> here are my merch sales. This is from April 1st to yesterday, April 7th. So as you can see, my, my average has gone up. I was selling about three shirts on average. Um, and then now I'm selling about seven shirts on average a day. So my weekly profits from merch was $318.79. So over here is my total for the week. Um, four hundred sixty-seven dollars and ninety-seven cents. So not too shabby. Um, pretty good. And if yeah, so C. Klein was saying, how long have I been selling on Etsy and eBay? If you're new, you guys, I'm a well, maybe for now, part-time seller. Um, because yeah, I, and so what I'm doing was supplementing my husband's income, and just because I'm a stay-at-home mom, blah blah blah, I needed extra money. You know, so, but it may be time for me to start kicking that up a little bit because, because of situational circumstances and whatnot. Um, so Jeff says, hey, that's why he wears pants. Oh, that's a fly by the seat of your pants. Yeah. Ah, but maybe I should wear pants more often. I'm wearing them today. I wear skirts normally. And Jeff says, darn, you suck. I only sell two to three. It's cool. It's cool. Hey, Dr. Doodle Doo. Hey, Catherine. Hello. Hello. Um, does Amazon, Amazon send you an email on merch sales for the week? Nope. I just look, and I'm a nerd about it. Do I have my spreadsheet up? No, I don't. Um, but I keep a spreadsheet every day and just plug in the numbers because I like to see. I just It makes me happy. So, yeah, I just track it. Okay, Jenny says, how long did it take you to sell your first shirt on merch? It took a couple months. I think I was approved maybe November of 2015 or December. I sold my first shirt in January. So this is something I'll probably talk about too in my next couple of merch videos is that I, th I see people getting like not I mean, I was like stressed out that, you know, they're, they've been approved. They've got their 10 shirts up. It's been a month. They've only sold a shirt and they're like, oh, I'm ready to tear up, right? Um, like, chill. <laughs> It'll happen, you know, um, and this, if you're a really great designer and you got, you know, your fingers on the pulse of all the whatever's hot and trending and whatnot, and you can rock and roll, right? But if you were like me, it took time. Not that I'm saying, anyway, yeah, so January, I sold one shirt. Here, I'll pull up my spreadsheet. It'll be easier. Um, yeah, in January, let me pull up that spreadsheet and I'll show you. I sold one shirt January 2016. And then it was like two shirts the next month. I mean, so slowly started snowballing. And then it just, you know, when it, I mean, it kind of is a numbers game. You know, the more opportunity you have, the more you're able to upload, the more you can upload, the more money you have to make. You know, it's just, yeah, it's really like a numbers game. Okay, let's see. Hi, Turtle Trader. Hello. Um, Jenny says, I'm still waiting patiently. So is Randy, but oh well, too bad, so sad. Uh, not for you, for him. <laughs> I've tried to help him. I can't help him. So Nevada says, I've had three sales in one month. That's good. Um, M empty nesting. I've sold 10. Can't wait to tear up. How long does it take to get teared up from 10 to 25? It just kind of depends. There wasn't a 10 tier when I started. It started off on 25. Um, but I've, heard some people because normally you have to sell like that number of shirts like 10 shirts to move up but some people i think like thrift thrift shop hunter he hadn't sold that many and then has already teared up so i don't know what their metrics is i think he did a video about what he thinks it is but um yeah uh pieces i, I tweeted out one of my shirts got eighteen thousand views but no sales I, did, I, I just did a, a giveaway, you know, because you can do these Amazon giveaways. And, like, I've probably, like, a thousand people have tweeted out this particular shirt. And it's made one sale. <laughs> but, hey, once it's out in the universe, like, somebody may stumble across it and it's out in the universe, right? Um, yeah, for sure. That's a lot of views. Let's see. Hey, Swamp Picker. Hello, hello. Rosie O'Donnell retweeted it. Oh, wow. That's awesome. I need to get Rosie. I need to find out what Rosie O'Donnell's into so she can retweet my shirt or Ellen or something. Okay, let me screen share my my just since we're talking about merch real fast. Um, so this was when I first started. So this is my spreadsheet. You can see down here this is 2016. So this is January 2016. I sold one shirt for a profit of 739. And then from there it's like two shirt. I mean February was seven, and then four, March. I mean, you can see it took months. So I probably teared up right around this point, right around May. And then you see a jump from 14 shirts to then I'm selling into the 20s and the 30s. 
And then here we've got fourth quarter, and then it just you know took off in the fourth quarter. 80 shirts, 173 shirts. In December, I sold 319 shirts. So, um, yeah, so it just starts snowballing. I think probably right around here was when I teared up to 100, and then over here was probably right around where I teared up to 500, and then so on. And then you can see this is my, this is this month. You know, here's May's numbers going so far. Did I say April on the last one? I don't know what I said. So, yeah, it just started snowballing. Then January, February, March, kind of, you know, there was a bit of a slide back, uh, but it's starting to pick up again. So, woohoo! So, let me stop that right there. Um, C. Klein, do you design your own shirts or do you have someone that does that? How many do you order at a time? When I first started, I had, I went to, what's that website called? Um, Fiverr and, and order and got a couple people, you know, I tried out a couple. I wasn't happy with it. And then when I wanted revisions, they changed it to completely, which really threw me for a loop. But, uh, and I had Mike Peterson design a couple for me. Um, but other than that, and none of the ones that I purchased sold, none of them. So I started doing them myself, started teaching myself. I don't use Photoshop or Illustrator because it really confuses me. Uh, maybe someday I will. But so I use PicMonkey and some other apps and, and make merch. So anyway, that's what I do. And it's so it's working, right? So somebody had said, I know I mentioned this in another video, when I, I just teared up to the 2000 level and somebody was asking, well, what do I make a week? And it's like, so I showed them, you know, what was it this week? I can't, I moved my thing. So it was like 300 something a week, right? And they're like, oh, okay, well, it's not like a full-time income or something. Like, well, no, but I'm not a designer either. And I'm not, you know, but there are people that are making a full-time income doing this. So I just am doing what I can do and what I know to do and what I know how to do, right? So, I mean, if I applied myself, I could do better, I'm sure. But at the moment, I'm doing what I can do, so. That makes sense. Maybe it, I don't know. It works. It's working for me. And I have had a couple people. So one person that I've I've had three people have me look at their shirts and pay me to look at their shirts and give them tips. One of them has gotten back to me a couple times that they sold four shirts and then messaged me again and had sold more from there. And then just today messaged me and said they'd just been tiered up to the five hundred tier. So I was like, yay! Which I always feel like, are you sure it's because I helped you? I don't know about that, but. Um, and then somebody, you know, had a couple others. So we'll see. I'm, I hope, I mean, I just, all I can do is say what I would do, what I would, what I, you know, my first impression is and go with that. So, right. Um, okay. Let me see. Let me check the chat and then, wow, this is going to be super short. That's okay. And uh, thrifting life says just uploaded two shirts today using make merch. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. I, I, We'll probably do another video talking about what else I use Make Merch for. They're not paying me, okay? But as a non-graphic designer, it's nice to be able to play around with it. And so sometimes I'll use it with PicMonkey and I'll share again. Yeah. Uh, Jeff says, good time for video games. Okay, good. Uh, Twin Dragon says, hi, Margaret. Like your video with your sister drinking. Is she still with you? Um, in spirit. No. She she had to go deliver some rock today. If that makes she used to do her business before what she's doing now was that she created things for terrariums and aquariums and, you know, would import rock from other countries, rock and wood and driftwood and things like that. And she would create these like driftwood thing, terrariums and I don't know. Well, anyway, she's not doing that anymore, but she has all this like raw material still. So she was delivering some rock to this aquarium place. Uh, north of Houston, so she's doing that today. But I'll see her later. That's one thing I need to go <laughs> now. When I'm talking, I need to go to the grocery store and buy some chicken and barbecue sauce and stuff like that. Corn on the cob for dinner. Okay, so <laughs> I hope you guys are doing well. And I, you know, my sister, we'll just see how it goes this evening. What's going on? But um, look for another video about merch. Oh, and before I go, let me thank my patrons. So again, I am on Patreon if you're interested. And coming up in two days, I have my giveaway for my um, pa patrons, depending on what level you are on. And if you are, have any questions about what Patreon is, I will make sure to link a video wherever the linky link goes. I can't even talk today. Um, so yeah, anyway. 
Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and I will talk to you later. Bye.